Once a symbol of Beijing's goodwill, now the center of angry debate in China. This panda in Memphis, Tennessee, has become the latest victim in worsening U.S.-China tensions. Yaya arrived in America with her playmate Lila two decades ago as an emblem of growing bilateral friendship. But recent videos showing the once fluffy panda now looking skinny with scraggly fur has sparked outrage in China. Many Chinese people and some animal advocates accusing the zoo of mistreatment. Videos on Chinese social media claiming the pandas are being abused quickly went viral against the backdrop of growing anti-American sentiment, the rumors often fanned by state propaganda. And meanwhile, Chinese social media users are praising these viral videos of this panda in Russia, Wu Yi, claiming videos of the active and playful panda prove Russia is taking excellent care of the Chinese bear. State TV saying the pandas are helping the Russia-China relationship. Chinese and American scientists launched a joint investigation concluding that Yaya has a genetic fur and skin condition that does not impact her quality of life and has received excellent care. But that message is not getting through. Outside the panda exhibit at the Beijing Zoo, I asked people if they've heard of Yaya the panda. This man says, yes, she's abused in America. An 11-year-old boy tells me, I heard the U.S. is treating the panda poorly. This man says, isn't Russia taking good care of pandas? Pandas are happy over there, not like in the U.S. And this man with his granddaughter tells me, Pandas in Russia are very happy. Why? Russians and Chinese are friends. At least Russia is not sanctioning China. Yaya will soon settle in this Beijing Zoo. Now, China has long used its pandas as a diplomatic tool. Currently, its pandas are on loan to about 20 countries. The United States has not received one since Yaya and Lola 20 years ago. Now, these pandas are normally loaned on these 10-year leases, and they cost a million dollars annually. The Memphis Zoo had already planned to send Yaya and Lola back to Beijing this spring because their lease is expiring. But Lola died of heart disease two months ago at the age of 24. The average lifespan for pandas is usually under 30 years. Yet that didn't stop rampant speculation and led to an explosion of accusations about Yaya's treatment too, accelerating calls to bring Yaya back to China. The message even featured on billboards from New York City to major cities across China. In 1972, during U.S. President Richard Nixon's historic trip to China, his wife visited pandas in Beijing. On behalf of the people of the United States, I am pleased to be here and accept the precious gift. Months later, China sent a pair of pandas to the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. Now, decades later, this panda's return from the U.S. to China, symbolic not of growing friendship, but growing animosity between two global superpowers.